Alrighty guys, so I had to shut the door on the stove. Um, it was, the smoke was trying to come through this direction, so I didn't want that. But it's fully open, fan spinning. Uh, I checked the temperature probe on the flues. It's not up to snuff yet, so um, I'm just having some lunch. Uh, I went to Subway, just treated myself. Loaded with veggies, everything but onions and olives on that one. I normally get the brown whole wheat bread, but I thought I'd treat myself with some white bleached bread. <laughs> um, Italian herb and cheese, and then I got a drink. I got the combo, basically, um, because this is all I'm going to have today. Um, I brought some water and Coke Zero. Uh, one Coke Zero, four waters back here. Um, one thing I noticed, guys, right away, this is our uh, wet winter weather, uh, 7.39 amps coming in. Batteries are topped off nicely, but, you know, um, <laughs> uh, I guess a third panel would have to do in put in series um, for winter. So that's one thing we've checked. That's good, but I'm going to see how I'd fare overnight with limited uh, solar coming in because the battery's still topped off and I already know what's going to happen. Um, I'm going to run the TV uh, for entertainment tonight and we're going to be fine because I've done it many, many days, many nights over here so far. So the big test though, uh, along with that, that's important too, is the barrel stove. How will it keep me in the off-grid tiny house Nice and toasty. Now I'm going from dead cold. I haven't been here in a month, guys, if you haven't have been paying attention. And I'll explain updates on that in a minute. Yeah, you can see my breath in here. <laughs> um, Temperature-wise, it's uh, my meter inside on this one. It's so low that it won't read it. It's in the negative territory. But this one has gone up by 0.5 since I've been in here, which is okay. <laughs> I think so. Let's check outside here, guys. Looks like we got the wind picking up and the snow. And it's a perfect, I thought it was going to be a perfect time for me to get here and tell you guys what's going on, shoot a ton of video, because uh, I've been busy for a month, and I'll tell you all about that in a bit. All right, guys, so the rest of the lumber, I put on that little ornamental uh, wood, brass wood, uh, holder I guess and I just got it next close to within three inches of the stove um, that should be fine because all that's gonna do is dry help dry out this wood before it goes in anyway and that's that temperature slowly going up it's just starting guys it's gonna be one of those deals where I'm gonna get maybe smoked smoked out a little bit I'll leave the door. What I learned was if I leave the door cracked about this amount, it gives the proper air to get started and the proper draw. Once this bad bad boy heats up the flue, this thing is like a rocket stove. It I had the flame when I built this with my dad this at the start of the COVID um, when we were locked down. Um, I had this outside as a test run. And I had flame shooting out the top of this. That's not good. So obviously it's more controlled here. But um, <laughs> but it definitely has that capability for sure. So you can see, maybe, see how the smoke isn't coming in here, but it's kind of rolling and going back in. That's kind of interesting. With I found with just the door being open this much, Keith gets this baby going. And I'm going to get to lunch because I never even started. I just kind of unwrapped it. So, lots to talk about, guys. Stay tuned. Merry Christmas. Alrighty, guys, we got 2 o'clock now. And we're uh, now in the meter's range where it can detect temperatures. 73% humidity. Boy, oh boy, that's going to go away pretty quick. Now, I just, I've been monitoring the solar, guys. It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Only 5.43 amps coming in. Now, that's still okay but it means my solar panels are probably covered on the roof. I'm not gonna go up and clean them because I'm not too worried about it. Um, 
the it's like a blowing snow so it doesn't have time to rest on the panels the wind is obviously obviously you know blowing past the panels because they're horizontal facing straight into the air on the roof of this thing and the heat of the panels melts the snow pretty good I've found so far I need to show that on camera but I ain't doing it today I'm checking it out it's pretty freaking cold I want to warm up Ooh. <laughs> so it is windy out we got the wind chill going on we got the blowing snow the snow's kind of lightened up too at this moment which is great but it's getting darker as you can tell um, let me walk you over to this the window over here the sky <laughs> and show you it's just plain Jane white out there just not a not a not a crap crapple so that's what I'm dealing with but so far so good guys those LG solar panels amazing I hi I, I basically that's my go-to from now on so big thanks to high-tech guy Stu for the research and all the friggin help that guy's given me um, and much appreciated Stu um, I've gone through quite a bit <laughs> so guys buy brand name solar panels your friendly reminder from Rob <laughs> alrighty guys I got the door shut you can see a little it's not a it's a pretty good fit it's not bad but I dialed the main damper down uh, midway because guys we're closing in on the hot zone already too hot 400 degrees sounds like like a good idea so we're just gonna we're gonna do that <laughs> and I turned the ceiling fan on so this baby I can't even touch because it's freaking smoking and I adjusted this damper so it's on a slight angle this way so, um, the, th the theory behind my thinking is the smoke's going to try, a little bit's going to come out the top, but the majority has to roll in behind and go up this way behind the damper. So it kind of slows it down a tad, and then I still got plenty of lumber. No big deal. <laughs> I didn't have to top this up again. I probably won't until later tonight. Yeah, there we go. It's kind of held its own now. Good. And this guy's running like crazy, so all good. I'm still munching away. Um, I got to tell you, there, there was some life-changing stuff that happened to me over a month. And I'm going to get into it, guys. It's pretty important. And uh, I'll get into it later tonight.